Hey everybody, welcome to the winner's final from U.S. West Coast Nats. This is Ghost Meet, Dave Laird, I am on the right. And I'm Stephen Ebry, I'm on the left. And this was a tournament that occurred on September 16th, 2023, and we are recording commentary for it about three weeks later, <laughs> almost four weeks yeah. later. So this a bit of a disembodied experience here. Um, this was the last tournament before the ban list, so technically Keeling and Dream Net were legal. Uh, we are not playing them. Um, yeah, I had neither of those cards in either of my decks for the tournament, so I have a clean conscience. You too. <laughs> <laughs> I think there was one player this tournament who brought Ag Infusion with Keeling, which I was yes. really relieved by. I was expecting there to be a ton of Keeling Ag at this tournament. Yeah, so it's a good nice. deck. I don't think it's like an overwhelmingly, you know, unstoppable Consistent, deck. Consistent, yeah. Really, if you have the right tech for it, you can you can win it uh, if you're smart. But yeah, certainly not like a picnic to play against. Yeah. I actually, on JNet, I played against Encoder, the uh, really good um, San Francisco yes. player, yeah. uh, with my runner. Just we were randomly paired up. And I yeah. did beat his, his ag healing deck, so that made me feel oh, good. Nice. It did yeah. run into it. I was like, okay, I have a good shot. Yeah. Um, so I'm playing uh, Thule. Um, our first Switch ma uh, version of this matchup is also on YouTube. So yeah. if you haven't watched that, if you want to go watch that, you can. Um, yeah. it's a and so this is round. This is our second. This is the second showdown. Uh, we'll <laughs> play more of this throughout the tournament. But this is the second <laughs> installment of Essa, who I'm playing. Essa is an anarch runner that says the first time each turn you suffer a core damage, you draw a card and force the corp to sabotage two. Sabotage is a new mechanic in Borealis that the corp player decides first they want to trash any number of cards from HQ up to two in this case and if they decide to do none then two cards come off the top of r d so if you remember noise from the ffg days essa does a similar kind of mill effect to noise probably less disgusting i would say than noise overall um noise said every time you install a virus the corp trashes the top card of r d uh at least with essa you're hurting yourself you're taking core damage which reduces your hand size throughout the game and that opens you up to new vectors of uh, death from the court player if they're running kill cards. And or in some cases, you could kill yourself uh, with <laughs> net damage or core damage um, as playing Essa, so you do have to be careful. So you've got a probably a Rashida here, turn one, classic corp opening, leave R&D open, ice the other central. Uh, you're probably worried about a card called Chastushka in my hand here. So I'm gonna bite, and I think that's a that's a pulse. So that pulse just passes yeah. you uh, two clicks, but does not keep you out. Um, and you call my bluff, and actually it's <laughs> one agenda. Um, so I was yeah. trying to sneak out a stegodon behind a non and the run ice, and yeah, you Good you bluff. Called. Yeah, but now I have a tough choice to make because Thule says whenever the runner steals an agenda, either they take a core damage. Uh, or they pay a click and two. So every agenda in your deck becomes an Ikola project, <laughs> which is the 5-3 that says, in order to steal it, you have to spend a click and two credits. Yeah. The one yeah. difference is a Kawa you can choose not to steal. Most of the time you yes. want to, but you That's can true, choose yeah. not to steal it. With Thule, you cannot choose not to steal the agenda just because That's you right. don't have Yeah, so you have to make the tough call. I chose to pay the click and two credits, even though I'm Essa and I want you to sabotage. I think I have learned a lesson from our last game where I'm trying to play a bit more conservatively early, where I'm not taking that self core damage as much to turn on your ability to score the ontological dependence agenda, which gets easier to score the more core damage the runner has. So once so, I have four core damage, you can take that card if you draw it. It's a four for two points, and you can just throw it straight in your core, in your score area for one click. Yeah, pretty <laughs> smooth. So it's pretty scary for me to to come up against that. So uh, click three here, dirty laundry, the wide open R and D. Let's see if I get anything. And I have dumped in the garbage. Oh, that's a great hit with dirty laundry. Yeah, because I'm. I'm at least going to get paid money back, so I'm not going to be financially crippled. And 
of the two things that I want to see go in your bin as Essa. Uh, one's agendas, because then I steal them and win the game, and the other one is Spin Doctor, because if you put a face-down card out on the board, I'm going to be worried at Spin Doctor, and I'm going to make a run on archives, and I'm not going to score any points, and I'm going to be sad. So seeing that go in the bin is good. Yep. And I installed Advance, Advance, and NGO down to zero credit. So I pretty much was not bluffing at all that it was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When the corp does that, it's pretty obvious that uh, they are getting NGO money, which is fine. Yeah. I just uh, the scary it. thing about that is, though, I can't look at your credit pool and say you have zero credits. I have to look at your credit pool and say you have eight credits. So running HQ Ice is dangerous because you can res anything up to eight credits. Right. And I put a new card in the remote and a new ice, so probably feeling yeah. pretty good with that. So I'm gonna Ooh. I'm gonna bite on that. I'm getting aggressive here. Let's see. I don't remember what happened. So yeah, this I, is, this I is fun for me I to watch. Too. Felt like it was safe, but oh yuck! Okay, well, okay, let's go. All right. All right so okay. this is a so blue. Going. <laughs> so blue is a three cost ice that also dereses another harmonic, and it yeah. does. So it's an additional cost to res it, right? Yes, as an additional yeah. cost. So it uh, does a core damage and then trashes two programs. You actually don't have any programs, so this is the so ideal time. Thankfully, I do. And on top of that, you're going to sabotage me and draw me. So this is probably the least bad bloop face plant in <laughs> you've ever seen. Bloop face plants. Um, <laughs> yeah, no programs got trashed. You hit a steel skin. That's not so bad. Yeah. Um, but now I think I am a little bit worried about the ontological being turned on. You're also going to get to re-res this pulse, which cost me two clicks, which is yeah. quite a disgusting tax as well. But I was at eight credits, and if I re-res that pulse, I'm down to two. So it's not not free. That's true. Looks like I do. And poor is where I want you as runner. Good old runner strategy, keep the court poor. I learned that in my early criminal days playing Andromeda in like 2015. Okay, so you got the Stegodon here. So you stole another Stegodon. So yeah, so... I got it. So now I got to decide what am I doing? Am I clicking and paying? <laughs> okay, so I'm playing conservative and just slow rolling these one pointers here. I'm going to owe you two cards, it looks like. So at this point, I, I am not counting on ever having a scored Stegodon because I'd have to draw yeah, it. Yeah, the odds are unlikely, unless you can get a uh, exchange of information or something, but that card's no longer legal. Um, I just threw a Katorga Breakout in the bin, which is a card that lets me make a run, and if successful, I get to add a, a card from my heap to my grip. So it's kind of like a deja vu. And this it's remote a nice card to get a... back Chastushkas specifically, or like a breaker that you really need that you bend through your own core damage. True, yeah. This server, for having two ice and six cost worth, is actually like quite porous because yeah. you don't have any programs, and the pulse, the one of the best parts of the pulse is the res effect. Yes, it's already totally. So it's not like I can just throw another agenda or a Rashida in there and have it be like definitely safe. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So now I'm probably looking at feasting on the HQ a little bit. If I have, if I can get some money in the Chastushka, I'll probably want to try and get you there. I think I also saw that I have a finality in hand. I'm probably going to rip that. Yep. But I am low on money though. So if I see an agenda, I'm going to have to take the core damage probably. And so I so just I suspect threw, maybe... I drew, installed, and took a credit so that I could at least threaten to res a three cost ice on HQ. Yeah, yeah. Um, you have waves in the stack. I think that's two cost to res. Is that right? Yeah. So wave is kind of the ideal ice on HQ mm -hmm. here if you were to res it because I would get a cre I would get two credits. And no, I would actually get three credits because it uh, gives me a credit for each. Yep. There so it, it is. is a wave. Yeah. I did so, remember it right. Okay, nice. <laughs> so, so on res, Wave lets me grab another ice, any type of ice, not just a harmonic ice. That's right. And then yeah. it, if the sub fires, which it does here, uh, I get one credit for each harmonic ice, which is three. So it's actually a 
credit a positive res. Credit positive which, res. That's real nice. Really awesome for me here. That's pretty rare in Netrunner that you get paid to res ice. And wave is um, when it's on HQ, it decreases your uh, agenda density, so it's kind of also protects HQ. Um, mm -hmm. When it's on R and D, yes, sometimes right. you're like, I, maybe I don't want to grab an R a ninth out of R and D. out a little bit. Yeah, yeah. exactly. All right, I got my HB dice in the line. Okay, so that's some valuable intel. That's a pretty um, unorthodox card to play in HB. In the line. I actually... Oh, there you go. Yeah, we missed the money. <laughs> yeah. You want those. I have hated uh, playing HB for most of Netrunner. I've been playing Netrunner for a long time, and yeah. I am just not like a slow sit back and... Uh, score agendas behind oh, big oh, yeah. ice servers <laughs> much more of like an aggressive kill player um, yeah me too yeah. and so this is like the first hb deck that i've really enjoyed playing yeah cool because it is a it's a it's a hardcore kill deck totally yeah totally yeah um i don't think you ever and en ended my line with this deck on the day but i'm sure you ended other people's lines through the tournament how many do you remember how many kills you got with it uh, I feel like I mostly killed. Um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so click to your run R&D, see nothing. Uh, I've got... Just need some money here, so I'm going to go okay. click for two, and now I can get into range you... for playing some economy cards and stealing stealing your agendas, crucially. Yeah, so you often so not to play finality or anything else that takes core damage, maybe thinking that you need to get a marrow down before you go under four hand size. Yeah, that can be good. Because then I uh, prohibit your ability to score ontological. Uh, well, no, that's not true. It doesn't matter your hand size. It just matters how much core damage you've taken, <laughs> doesn't it? But now that you've seen end of the line, maybe you're thinking, I don't want to go under Yes, <laughs> don't dip. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so this remote is getting pretty impenetrable, or at least very scary. We've got two cards. One of them's probably Managarm or Vovo. So I'm just going to keep trying to get sick rips on R&D here. <laughs> Trust in the RNG there. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if I play a finality here or not. I know one of them's not an agenda, so that decelerates the plan a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so click three and putting a bank card down. Start to threaten some ice a little bit more. Bankar is a fairly new Anarch resource that costs a buck, and it says at the start of your turn, choose a server. When you encounter the first ice on a run during that server, you can uh, take net damage equal to the amount of subs. So every sub turns in to do one net damage, and they don't end the run anymore, so you can just get through anything. Okay, so I just scored a Luminal, which is a 3-2 agenda that gives you three clicks back, and I yeah. used those three free clicks to take two credits and ice R&D, so mm -hmm. pretty ideal situation there. Yeah, Lum Luminal is one of the best agendas ever printed for this game in any phase of its lifetime, I think. It is one of the best agendas ever. So just the pure tempo, even just making your money back and getting installs is wonderful. Yeah, I mean, all of those one of three twos are very good. Um, Wayland has one that trashes a resource that can be yeah. uh, quite powerful. Law. And then NBN has one that uh, tags, and it tags even on steel. Yeah, um, tomorrow's headline. OK, so you just um, play just check good, good yeah. which runs HQ. Bankar did one net damage to you, which uh, got rid of finality. So. Hit finality that I'd been like holding in my hand <laughs> for a rainy day. Yeah. yeah. And so three off R&D, one from HQ there. So now I'm thinking the one in HQ is very likely an agenda. Makes you probably sense. know I'm going to check archives pretty soon here. But I'm very low on money, so... Oh, can we track the core damage in addition to yeah, and I'm oh, in... I've been... Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I forgot to take a token for my core damage. Yeah. And I have... Yeah, S is busy to play, for sure. It's a lot of bookkeeping. <laughs> I have very low money, and I have a lot of res to harmonic ice, so you really don't want to face check that wave, because That's me right. going from two credits to five credits is just a huge thing. It is a big swing, yeah. All right. 
So you're threatening things like Bloop now. You're also threatening a score. You can score a 3-2 or a 3-1 next turn if you don't res any ice that pays you back. So I've got to consider carefully if I try and contest that or if zero breakers, one card installed, and three credits is enough to <laughs> do anything meaningful. Probably not. So Bankar is going to contest R&D. Uh, that's a boomerang token that uh, Dan B made. He makes some other really great acrylic tokens for this game. Kind of like if you flip it nicely, it looks like a hand with five fingers pointing towards the server. So I've used it as a bank card token. Bank card's hand is saying, here's where I'm going to take the damage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to money up a little bit here. I suspect I have no great economy options in my hand. I think my thinking here is get to four so I can steal two agendas and have two clicks to pay the Thule tax here. Yep. Sounds... Oh, Nightmare Archives. Uh, so that's the uh, trap that you have to either take minus one point or a core damage. And looks like you hit no other agendas, so pretty bad luck no, for you. There. But I did hit a spin, so two spins are crucially in the bin. That's very good for me. So I'm thinking yeah, about, I'm just going to take that as a minus one point. Fortunately, we do not have cards like Data Dealer left or Shadow Net, which let you uh, sack agendas to get a good benefit. So there's nothing I can do about that card in my score area anymore. <laughs> it's just going to live there forever. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I missed Shadow Net. What a great card that was. All right, going for a Dirty Laundry on click three on R&D. I have enough cards in hand that I think I can survive. I believed that this card is a ping. I saw a ping in your hand at one point, or an R&D, and I have decided in my brain that this is a ping. You were asking me how many cards I have. And it, in fact, is not a ping. It's a bloop, which you can pay for. And I've just taken three net damage, and I only had two cards in my hand, neither of which are steel skin. So I just died to damage that I sort of opened this video talking about in, in a foreshadowing, in a very literary move. <laughs> so that was one of my, my more embarrassing plays from this tournament. Oh, and so there's the ping on the remote there. Yeah. Showing me the kill, yeah. <laughs> This is extremely good. Um, tell me about the, the purple card next to the end of the line there again. Is it three costs, two clicks, give the runner a tag if they score an, an agenda on the previous turn? Is that right? Exactly. Yeah, it's called distributed tracing. And so if you can get to three hand size, um, and I have both of those, and I have six credits, um, then you pretty much have to win on one turn. Oh, and looks like the video right. ended. So. <laughs> it did. Okay. Thanks for watching. Yeah, it was the, the remote. <laughs> Stay tuned for the for our next showdown in the in the top cut finals. <laughs>